Now, tension in the Middle East continues to take center stage. The man who knows it best is here in the desert. Former Defense Secretary Robert Gates was tonight's guest speaker at the Indian Wells Speaker Series. KMIR 6's Angela Moreau joins us now with more. Angela. Gino Gates had lots to say about the current tensions with Iran and also about international tensions in Russia as well as here at home. I think Iran is not a, a military threat to the United States itself, uh, at least for now. Uh, but they are an enormous threat to the stability of the Middle East, which is a vital national interest for the United States. Former Secretary of Defense Dr. Robert Gates talked to youth ambassadors here in the desert. Because I love being involved in like the current events, and I, I really, it's so, it's such an amazing opportunity to be able to talk to people like, like Dr. Robert Gates. The students had insightful questions, including about the re-election of Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin. President Bush famously once said that he had looked into Putin's eyes and seen his soul. A couple of years later, I told the president. President Bush that I'd looked into Putin's eyes and I'd seen a stone cold killer. Gates also addressed the proposed budget cuts to the Department of Defense. That's about 800 or 900 billion dollars over the next 10 years. If we do that, I think we will still uh, have by far the most powerful military forces in the world. Dr. Gates has served under eight presidents on the National Security Council as Director of Central Intelligence and as the Secretary of Defense. He talked about serving with both Presidents Bush and Obama. And for those who comment on and ask, how could you possibly serve two presidents who were so different politically and, and personality and everything else? I said, do you do realize that I worked for both Jimmy Carter and Ronald Reagan? And what does he look for in a president? A sense of humor. Because it reflected a certain self-awareness. Um, of the eight presidents I worked for, two had no discernible sense of humor. <laughs> Richard Nixon and Jimmy Carter. <laughs> I rest my case. This is the 20th season of the Desert Town Hall series. This year's title sponsor is the Burger Foundation. And tonight, over 1,900 people packed the Renaissance Esmeralda to hear the former Secretary of Defense speak. Gino, back.